What's up, everybody? I'm the Burning Sky Cloud. Welcome back to Spirit Fair Farewell Edition. And speaking of farewells, it's so weird. Um, okay. For a moment there, I thought I'd. That was weird. I didn't hear Stella jumping around or her sound effects. But, like I was saying, um, speaking of farewells, Astrid wants to say her farewells. Darn it. Why? I'm just getting attached to everybody. I'm just getting attached, and then all of a sudden, bam, everybody wants to leave. Oh! What happens when I cook this? Okay, I'm gonna cook that, and then I'm gonna sleep my way through. Yes. Get up here, Dad. The last two episodes, I've been especially busy working to get everything going. Good morning! Ah, Beverly's on the move. <laughs> so what happens when I do that? Beverly! Oh, I'm a bit busy. I'm thinking something. I'm not telling you what it is. It's a surprise. Come find me later and I may have something for you. Appreciate it. All the best. <laughs> Doing my day because collection of my fruits. <laughs> Gustav. Oh. You're good. You know what? I'm gonna hug you. Hmm. I don't do it often, but you're uh -huh. nice. Get used to it. Trust my sheep no more. Eh, I guess they're all good until the next day. I hope. Hey there! I don't think we've met properly. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Nice to meet you. Name's Buck. The name's Atul. Pleasure to meet you. I'm gonna go fly away now and do my D and D thing. D and D. What? What's that? Oh, well, you know, it's, it's a game where you. Create your own character and act out as them. Huh. Sounds interesting. You know, I can't actually see a tool joining in on the D&D. So, sheep, we meet again. <laughs> I'm always watching. <laughs> huh. You gotta appreciate timed moments like that. All right, so I don't know what my objective is for right now. Hmm, Amber Town Park, Edge Boro Lane. All right. Yeah, I gotta get the bovine license from over there. <laughs> if I want to have a cow pasture. Oh, that was quick. Why? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, 
coffee. And find out what else they like and don't like. Alex! What's up? Jump the jump! Wait, wait! I need you to get us further. Yes, yes, of course! Amber Town Park, that's Amber Town Park. Oh, you know what? I haven't talked to the, um, one guy in a while. The guy who. Trying to seek out dates, maybe? that oh hello Beverly sweet pea oh. I've got a lead need on something incredible it's huge listen up oh. apparently there's this kid in Ambertown Park handing out copies of the super saver discount book what bro there is no way there is no way that can be coincidence that I'm going to Ambertown just as she mentions Ambertown. No reaction? <laughs> Nothing? Yeah, I wouldn't know what that is. Wow. You kids these days. <laughs> Every cent is important. You can't go around squandering your paycheck. You need to be smart about how you spend your money. Let's Bev show you the way. Say you want to buy something. Are you going to pay full price for it? Uh. No way. You need to be chasing deals. That's what my mom used to say. And that's what I'm telling you. Uh. You just need the patience to pounce at the right moment. You need to be more like a tiger, sweet pea. Let's say you've been in, uh, in an archive room B2522. Your, for your boat. Huh. Ready, Randy in Edgeboro Lane is the only one who's got the blueprint. <laughs> Can Beverly predict what I'm doing? I was gonna go to Ambertown Park and then Edgeboro. Can you see the future? <laughs> Are you just going to walk up to him and pay full price? Huh. I hope that by yes, you mean no. In no way should you be paying full price for anything. You are going to wait and find a way to pay a bit less. So that means taking a detour by Ambertown Park before buying something at Edgeboro Lane. <coughs> so be it. Don't go and just buy that archive room B2522 right away. It won't be worth it. <coughs> Not until you can shave a few glimpses off the asking price. Bro, how did you know I was going there? There was no way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fried chicken. A tool. Where are you? All right. Daffodil, do you know where a tool is? No. He's somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna find you a tool. <laughs> there you are. Been meaning to give this to you for some time. Oh. This, is always make, this always makes me think of my dad. He loved preparing food. He was an absolute genius in the kitchen. Oh. His meals would always turn out perfectly. But while he was making them, he was angry. Oh. You couldn't take his focus away from making food. It was like he was trying to tear the kitchen or something. It was a fight to the death. Oh. He would always win. A meal could take him hours to prepare just right. It took him so long. Oh. I remember being a kid and when it was ready, I didn't care what food was in front of me. It could have been cereal for all I cared. Oh. I just hated watching him make food back then. Oh. Waiting for hours. Ye gods, he would have to start early in the mo he would have to start early in the morning just to make food for a meal I didn't care about. But every time I eat this, oh. it doesn't seem that bad anymore. Well, oh. thanks, bro. 
Stella! I think we should organize a big dinner for everyone aboard. I'm not kidding around. Well, not everyone. Just a few people, maybe. I think it would bring spirits up. You should invite everyone and ask them what they want for dinner. Let's say three of your favorite dinner companions. What do you think? Oh, how nice. Stella! I've been mulling it over. It took me a while to figure it out. I don't think I'm happy here. No, not you! Uncle Atoll, no! No, you can't leave me! Ooh. I miss my family. I miss the way m the house smells before a big dinner. I know I can't go back home. Ooh. That's just not possible. But I don't want to be here anymore. I know that would not mean not being with you. Ooh. But I want to be alone for a bit. Take some time for myself. Maybe enjoy some quiet. If that's even possible. Ooh. Thanks for listening, Sprout. I do intend to get intense, but I don't want to put pressure on you. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Oh man, Uncle Toll, you can't leave me! Ooh. You can't leave Ooh. me! We've been through so much together. After Gran got after Gran and Summer left, you're like one of the main three. Yeah, I know. But you know, I just can't do it no more. Oh, tool. He's out of his house. Don't have to do it every time that I think I'm out, you're in. And I know that they want the food. <laughs> right, I was gonna go to Amber Town Park. <laughs> oh boy. So, what was I doing in Amber Town Park again? I do not know. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why are you making me glitch like this? Now I can't climb. Don't you have respect for all living things? Oh, that's you. Mm -hmm. What about this? Do you like bears? Not polar bears, silly. Mm -hmm. Mountain bears. Especially brown bears. I've never been a cat person, mm. but bears I love. I got to hold on. on I, I got to hold one on a trip once. A cop. Mm. It was the nicest and most cuddliest thing in my arms ever. I really hope he likes bears. Let me think of a little more. Mm -hmm. What about this now? Do you like to stand on the edge of tall buildings? I always feel like I want to jump. What are you, suicidal? Mm. But the vertigo sits in. I always close my eyes for a few seconds. Mm. Then, I think that it wouldn't be that fun to jump. But don't worry. I don't go on tops of buildings that often. What about that? Mm. I should leave with that. What do you think? Um... No. Mm -hmm. I'll play it safe and stick with what his favorite color is or something. Thanks. Do I not get a tune for that? I think I'm just... Alright, can't do anything with you at the moment. Hello, stranger. Let's see... Oh! Okay! <coughs> what, are you sick? Are you 
looking for a good deal? You want to say big time, yes? Yes. <laughs> I've got a coupon book that might be right up your alley. It's the Super Saver discount book. It's got deals. <laughs> it's got savings. It's out of control. And it's mostly legal. <laughs> Are you saying that it's not? It will enhance your shopping experience to the extreme. With this coupon book, you'll be keeping more of your hard-earned glimpses. These deals will keep you rich. Mm -hmm. I promise. If you want to save, you gotta get this coupon book. It's totally free. Mm -hmm. I will just take some personal information that will in no way impact your future life. I'm the spirit bearer. There's nothing you can, can't do. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Sure. That's great. Here you go. You'll be able to save big time at certain raccoon loca mm -hmm. ink locations. Actually, just one. For now. We are working on expanding. Mm. My uncle Randy was trying to union unionize some other shops and it didn't go as planned. Oh. Corporate really cut it, his brakes. Figuratively and literally. For now, my uncle Randy of Edgeboro Lane is ready to slash his prices for you. Mm -hmm. Take care now. Okay. <laughs> oh. Everybody wants to leave. I, that still amazes me. Uh, the fact that <sighs> Beverly. Oh. Yeah, just the fact that Beverly, uh. Tell me where I need to go as I'm going to the place. I should be hungry by now. I don't think he likes <laughs> Okay, yep wow. uh, Yeah, he doesn't like no nothing fried Uh, Fine dining hmm. Thank you Okay, nope So I need... Three iron and, and four copper. So let me go to the foundry and do that. When I find out where it's at.
There we go. Definitely going to need... Yeah, I need that treasure map. Temperature sure takes a long time to get up there, don't it? Wow, the iron is really slow moving. It should be done before it reaches the Wow. Okay. Where's the fried chicken? Wait, did they... Did, that's not like it! This tastes exactly like that place. What was that name? What was the name? Oh, uh, whoa. No, Mickey doesn't know it either. I don't know. So, it really hit the spot. That's what a scout is for. Scouted for good food. Keep him coming. Hopefully we won't have to ask him next time. Sweet. 200, I think. Wait, where was it? Aw, oh, man. Now I don't have enough coal. Next time, Fra Francis. Next time. <laughs> well, I found the fat pretty much. Let's move it along now. Okay. Take a lax, uh, please. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That over-energized friend of yours is organizing a dinner. Good thing you are taking care of the food, my dear. Uh -huh. Let's see. Something that takes skill. Some tuna taki, perhaps. Uh -huh. That sounds decent. The beginning and the end. Tuna tataki. Who do I have on the bottom deck? No one? Astrid, there you are. wants me at the dinner hmm sure yeah I'm not letting you go just yet Astrid you came in after Alice I think you owe I think, you, I think it's only fitting that you go to a tool's dinner before you leave <laughs> fair enough munchkin I guess I should be there mm -hmm. I don't know I'm not sure if I 
Anyway, if I get there, I should eat some no noodle soup. Mm -hmm. It would probably be fun to talk to everyone one last time. Or not. See you there, Munchkin. <laughs> now she has to go. Cap. Oh. Make you want to oh. Don't you fly away. <laughs> Where's Buck? <laughs> oh! I did it for you earlier. I should keep you nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the worse. Wool fabric. Yay! Where's Buck? Sprout! No, here comes the hard part. I need a sous chef. Someone to help me prepare all the meals. Ooh. A good chef always has a good team behind them. Leave you me, Stella. We make a great team. Ooh. I'll just write down what everyone wanted. You just need to prepare it all. The heavy lifting, you know. <laughs> I fed you. There you are, Buck. <laughs> you need a hug? <laughs> oh, thanks, Stella. <laughs> that was nice. Now, for the kitchen. Let's see, um, I'm gonna find out where everything is. Rice flour, I need rice for that. Tuna and savory veggie. Don't I have tuna? Okay, savory. There we go, that's what I was looking for. And while that's cooking, I will go and... Do I have rice? No. I don't have rice. Hmm. I thought I'm out of. Damn it! Let's go. Aha! Teleportation is my specialty. Discord message and as always, that's me. <laughs> that's why I uh, pause momentarily. No! No, please! Where did you get that coupon book? I told my nephew to stop handing those out. He's ruining my business. Now I'm on the hook for a lifetime discount for every customer on the face of the planet. <laughs> why? Randy, why don't you give Claude a job? 
That's the last time I listened to my sister-in-law. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you don't tell anyone, you'll get the discount. Fair deal. On everything. Oh. Not that I have any choice either way. Hey, what's going on over there? Nothing! Get out of here. Enjoy your shopping experience, valued customer. And always remember, yeah. my name is Randy, and my stock can't be beat. I like the door. Except you, uh, you apparently. <laughs> for one min condition cow. Oh, archive room B2522. <laughs> Alright, bye, Brandy. Get out of here. I don't want you in my life. Uh oh, too bad. I'm not even paying attention. So I should have a bovine license now, right? Hello. Oh yeah. A place to well, we'll call my favorite memories. Yeah. Well, I'm coming, Beverly. Oh. Good job, sweet pea. Lesson learned. You waited and it paid off. Oh. I'm proud of you. In any case, you should go ahead and build the archive room B twenty twenty two five two two. You bought it. You've earned it. <laughs> Tuna Tataki. Fire glow and rice flour. I need rice. Oops. Wow, the fruits are really coming out. I got milk! I get milk! He's out. Let's see, I need two aluminum. I'm really can't, I'm really making up for all the lost time I've, I've had. I think I had something to do with Olga. I'll have to see about that.
Right, because I think I went and... Yep. Oh, yeah. How about apples? Oh, no, all fruit, so he don't uh, want no fruit. Hello. Hey, Mr. Apologies, Commander. I cannot accept your generous offer. As I've crossed paths with him, Lactogroth the Nob Dobgoblin cursed me out of jealousy. Uh -huh. A dreadful level 3 lactose intolerance. Yes, it's a conjuration ritual. I won't talk about what happens if I ingest the smallest dose of di dairy. Fair enough. Uh -huh. And then vegetables. Um, um. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, so you like fried food. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's see, I need to go to Olga. To Olga, you say? I know her! Quite the wise woman! I'm coming back for you. Wait, does she have my aluminum? Yes! Yes, she does. That's where it went to. There you go. Okay. Hello, Astrid! Oh, good morning. How are you, how are you Buck? I'm doing alright! What about you? I'm actually fine myself. <laughs> That's good to know! <laughs> so, you wanna do some D&D later? Hmm. You can teach me the basics. Awesome! Oh. <laughs> Uncle Truly just eats about anything. <laughs> Hello, Olga, old friend, old gal. First <laughs> afternoon. There's my aluminum. Silver. I need some coal. Not done yet, Olga. I'll be right back. Daphne, you stay there. I'm busy. No, you're not. Never mind. Hey, don't bully me! I'm not bullyable enough! We do what we want, see? I need the foundry. 
There we go. Got some nice aluminum orb. Oh. Uh, what what I do? Got the two in. Whoopsie. Wasn't thinking there. Oh yeah, definitely gonna need more. More coal, more aluminum. What else? There we go. We got to put two in, that was my mistake. It's nice to get hugs. Let's see. So I got two aluminum. Uh, what else was it? Ten. So ten, ten. Ten lining and ten. I have no lining. Well, this is quick. Oh, there it is. Wait, where is it? And since I don't want to travel all the way back over, wait a minute, ain't saw me over this way. No, nope, there it is. Forget. Where am I going? <laughs> and archive room. I need cotton fabric. Bad. Yeah, 
Might as well go and build that uh, since I've got the materials. Come in, Beverly. What do you want? Okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, this looks great. This reminds me a bit of my late husband David's classroom. Obviously, you've never met him, but you knew he was a high school teacher. Huh. You already knew that. The room. It's just very similar. Huh. You should go inside and take a peek. Maybe see if the projector still works. That's interesting. Project. Acetates. Oh! oh. Nothing to show. You could try this. It was in my husband's work work things. Ah. Maybe it will work. Lecture notes. This equation is run by the Beverly State husband. Ah. Oh no, not math! No! Oh wow! David was a math teacher. He taught at Chelsea High for 20 years. Fun fact about yours truly. I was never good in geometry. I failed it twice, both semesters. Oh, he met, we met on a blind date. A new bachelor snatched up quickly in a small town. My friend, Pauline, matched us up. Oh. She was the school secretary. That school would have been in shambles without her. She was the first to see him and called me the second he was out of her sight. Oh. Beth. I just met the love of your life. How about that? Oh, She was right. To a point. Huh. I was the love of his life. But Matt had lo but he loved math better. He was gone too quickly to be the love of mine. I never met anyone as special as him. Huh. He had a warmth that I was never able to find again. Well... What are we looking at? Huh. It must be a formula or something. I've never been that great at math. Ha! Huh. My brain gets confused with numbers. But there's letters now involved. I have that in common with... Hmm. Huh. She told me that she isn't great with... <laughs> hmm. I'm just tired. Huh. I can feel it in my bones. Don't ever get old, Stella. It wouldn't suit you. <laughs> oh, right, I'm still here with Olga. I think he forgot. I think Ooh. he forgot me. <laughs> Nothing on rice? Huh. No, oh, Susan. Well, hang on. Let me finish up with Olga first.
get a little bit more in. You always use more aluminum. Possibly some zinc. Yeah, I'm done. Later. Oh. Too dark to navigate. Alrighty. Then, to sleep I go. favor there we go got more coal Where do I go to get rice seeds? Oh. That's what I want to know. What, you got more from me, Bab? Sweet pea! I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? But you have a house. You remember? The kids and David and I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. Ah. It was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Ah. Huh. What am I saying? You've already done that for me. Oh no, Beverly. Ah. I was just testing you. <laughs> to see if you're quick on your feet. I can see you're still sharp, which reminds me that I need to get my kitchen knife sharpened. That's just something my childhood friend Daryl didn't do. He was cutting vegetables one day, and just like that, the blade bent, broke, and shattered all over the place, mostly in his face. Ow! He had bandages on his face from all the cuts. His wife, Hannah, left him. Not because of the cuts, but because he had a secret family two towns over. Mm. 
That just goes to show you, you can't trust a man who doesn't sharpen his knives. Well, I'll... Uh, I guess I'll go home. Uh, Beverly, home's that way. Like it. Wow. You ain't getting my stuff. Not again. So, I'm trying to find right. At this point, it's essentially a selling and village. A real community. Do you remember Dana? The flower girl with beautiful, long red hair? You know, Dana! Oh yeah, that Dana! She went to the desert with some friends. They all followed this man with a long robe and silky hair around. around. They all called him Jimmy. Jim. Okay. Now who I was thinking. Which always sounded odd to me. Was Jimmy a diminutive of James? Was Jim his last name? He just didn't really roll off the tongue. You'd think a cult leader would be better at, at coming up with names. Dana kept telling me they were looking for some kind of new water. That the water in cities was too tainted. Full of city sweat and bad omens. That they needed to find a better, cl cleaner source of water in the desert. She kept wanting me to come to with them. Telling me this new water would heal everything. That their new community would be beautiful. Everyone in harmony with each other and, and with nature. Well, it didn't take long for everyone to be dehydrated. The well they dug lasted a few weeks, and everyone started fighting over the water. Huh. I guess I'm saying that I know you're busy. You've got things to tend to. People to see. <laughs> faces to be. I don't want to be a bother. But I'll just have to be. Huh. I've been thinking about a way to repay you for all that running around. <laughs> I think I've got a pretty good idea. But I need your help for the final touch. I was talking to one of the people on this boat. Ah. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> well, new names. I can't seem to remember your passengers. Ah. It must be all the comings and goings. Well, they were saying sometimes the boat goes through a swarm of fireflies. Ooh, Gustav. Their bellies are sometimes filled with fire glow seeds. Well, look at that. You've already got some fire glow. No need for all that trouble then. Oh. Some beautiful, perfectly spicy fire glow. Oh, what the heck. I can't keep it a secret for much longer. Oh. Do you remember when you first moved into the building? 
you know you that was you I've been there for years I sold the house a few months after David died oh. the kids were heartbroken at first they were never there they just wanted their old rooms to stay perfectly intact I suppose oh. well back to you your fridge broke on the first day poor thing oh. I could tell you were broke I couldn't afford takeout. Do you remember what happened? Yes. <coughs> That's right. <coughs> I made you soup. Not just any soup. My favorite soup in the whole wide world. <coughs> it was laxa. It was the first thing I ate when I moved to the big city alone. I had moved here to be closer to my sister. It was quite the trip. It took a few days. Well, when I got here, my neighbor, Aranya from 32B, invited me to dinner. Oh. Neighbors were friendlier back then. She served laksa. I had never tried it before, but I instantly fell in love. You know, all this food from Spirit Fair would make a really great uh, food ch Eating challenge on those on that one YouTube series. It's where like um, several people are, uh, have to eat uh, get the chance to eat whatever's made for them. But if like they eat the food, then they get a, ba a bad punishment in which they have to eat really bad food. Whereas if they don't eat the food, they get the best food made at the end for a year straight. I must have invited myself to a dinner to dinner at least once a week. Hopefully, I didn't overstay my welcome. Her family was so nice. And stop taking pictures, please. Oh. In any case, spicy food became my ultimate friendship test. If you can stomach it, then you can stomach me. And you pass with flying colors. Huh. I couldn't help you with your fridge, but I could keep you fed. My gift to you is Ariana's family recipe. Aranya. Whatever. I can't recreate it anymore. Oh. Well, that's not true. I just believe that at my age, I've done enough cooking for a lifetime. It's time to let someone else take the reins. Oh. If you cook Alexa, maybe we can share it. You just have to put fire glow and... Hmm. Oh. Fire glow and that delicious powder of grain. Sorry about that. Must have slipped my mind. You'll have to figure it out, I suppose. Oh. If I had Alaska in front of me, I would remember. Wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, goodness. You talk a lot. I'm sorry. But like I said, you have to put up with me. Oh. All right, well, I'm gonna end this episode here. This was not how I planned it to go, but it's all good in the end. Uh, anyway, if you all enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to see more in the future. I'll catch you all later.